Your FT1000MD is equipped with a Bafang Ultra Display with a five button interface. On off, headlight, mode, level plus, level minus. To power up your FT1000MD, hold down the power button for at least two seconds or until you see the startup screen appear on the display. Use caution as the thumb throttle is functional as soon as the dash is on. The home screen will show your speed, power output usage, time in 24 hour format, battery level, pedal assist level, and riding mode. To switch from eco to sport mode, hold down the level plus button. And by pressing the mode button, you can cycle through trip distance, odometer, maximum speed, average speed, range. Now range is dependent on assist level. calories, and operating time. The light sensor will automatically turn on your head and tail lights in low light conditions. An icon will appear when they are on. If you turn on your lights manually, this disables the automatic function until you power off and on again. An icon will also appear when a USB device is plugged in and charging. It has a 5 volt, 0.5 amp output. Holding down the level minus button will activate a 5 mile per hour walking mode. Your FT1000MD's display comes preset from the factory to work with its current setup. Other than adjusting the time, there is no initial need to make any adjustments. To go into the setting mode on your Bafang Ultra Display, quickly double tap the mode button. You will see two options. Display settings lets the user adjust metrics on the display. Information shows battery information and error code memory. There is no adjustment for the user here. There is a simple three button operation to adjust the settings. With display settings highlighted, press the mode button. You will see the metrics you can adjust. Pressing level plus or level minus will cycle you through the adjustment options highlighted on the left column. Pressing the mode button selects what you want to adjust and highlights the right column. When the right column is highlighted is when you can make changes to the settings. Pressing level plus and level minus will cycle you through the setting options. Pressing the mode button saves the settings and brings you back to the left column to select another option. Unit allows you to select either metric or imperial units. Brightness gives you five levels of daytime screen brightness adjustment. Auto off lets you select from one to nine minutes how long the display stays on when the e-bike is not in use. This auto off feature can also be completely disabled. 
Default mode lets you select eco or sport mode to be on when you initially power up. Power view lets you choose between wattage or amps on the power output usage meter. SOC view lets you choose between percentage or voltage on the battery's state of charge. Trip reset zeroes the trip info. On a side note, trip mileage does not reset when you power off and on. Wheel is the diameter of the wheel and tire. 28 inches is the default factory setting. Changing this will affect the accuracy of the speedometer. Speed limit. Your FT1000MD ships as a class two e-bike with a maximum speed of 20 miles an hour. Altering this will change its classification. AL sensitivity changes how much light is needed to automatically turn your lights on and off. There are five levels of sensitivity, five being the most sensitive. This feature can also be completely disabled. Password gives you the option to require a four digit password to power up your e-bike. The same password is also required to disable the function. If you choose to use this function, do not forget the password. Set clock lets you adjust the time. It is only in a 24 hour format. For more information, go to csc-ebikes.com for the Bafang factory owner's manual or check the link in the description. Thank you for watching and ride safe.